welcome back to Grace's Room. So today I'm going to be doing a video that has been highly requested by a lot of you guys. I kind of put off doing it because I didn't think it'd be that interesting, but apparently a lot of you guys would like to see what is on my iPhone. So I have the iPhone 8, it is in rose gold, it's very pretty. At the moment I have this really cute like Mickey Mouse phone case on it. I really like this one. Okay, so what is on my iPhone? So, the first app that I have here, oh wait, do you like my background? It's really plain, kind of just and simple, but it's really beachy and cute, so I like it. <laughs> Let's see, mail. So I don't really get a lot of emails. Um, oh, Supre, I really like Supre, it's a nice store. Um, but if you're wondering a lot of my Grace's World video, or Grace's World emails are, I usually get most of them on my laptop, so on my phone it's more just like kind of like personal emails. So next we have calendar, I don't really use that that much, I don't really keep reminders or like set dates and stuff just because I usually never check them in the end. Okay, photos, okay, what's my camera roll, okay. This photo here is, I don't even know what it is honestly, it's just I took a photo of my makeup that I did the previous day and I sent it to my friend and yeah. <laughs> This next, oh, I really love this meme. It is so relatable. Do you ever just feel your pocket and your phone's just like, you feel like, and like you just don't feel your phone for a second and you're just like, oh my goodness, where is my phone? That always happens to me and this is just so relatable. I love this. <laughs> and then here we have some screenshots, screenshots that I took of a Paris themed bedroom. I'm thinking about maybe changing like the theme of my room because I already have a really nice Paris themed like bed, bed cover. And now I was thinking maybe like kind of the rest of my room theming out a bit like Paris and stuff because I love Paris. So I just got some inspiration from some of these photos. Yeah. Okay, there's camera. We all know what camera is. Um, clock. Okay. So I have some alarms here because I never get up on time. So I've always got to keep an alarm and I have so many here. And what's this? The world clock. I usually like to have the world clock because I like to see what the different times are in different states. <laughs> Well, countries. <laughs> um, okay, next we have settings, app store, and then there's weather AU. Okay, so the weather at the moment is 14 degrees. So currently the start of spring at the moment in Australia. So it's kind of starting to get a little bit warmer, but it's not that warm still. It's quite cold and it's only 14 degrees, so that's not really that good. <laughs> okay, and then there's Shazam. I don't have Shazam in a folder just because like I always use like Shazam um, sometimes like in the car when like a song's playing and before it stops I've got to quickly like press on Shazam and so it doesn't go away um, so the song doesn't stop and stuff so I always use Shazam and like in like the store or something for songs playing and before it finishes I'm like quickly Shazam it <laughs> so yes that's a very useful app okay so now let's move on to the first folder which is named stuff I have all my things in like folders and stuff because it's a little bit more organized than that and I used to have a lot of apps just scattered around my phone but now I tried to narrow it down all onto one page and they're all in folders so it's nice and tidy um, but I remember I had a lot of apps and stuff so I kind of had to go through all of them and see the ones that I really did need and stuff. Okay let's start. So this is stuff. I, didn't, I couldn't think of a creative name to describe what's in here so I just call this stuff because <laughs> it's got a mix of everything. Okay. So there's contacts, there's FaceTime. Find My iPhone is such a good app. I always use it because sometimes I lose my iPhone and if you saw my story time on me losing things, then you would know that I needed this app in Disneyland when I lost my iPhone. So this is just such a useful app and I'm thankful for it. <laughs> then we've got Find My Friends. Um, it's like Find My iPhone, but except for like contacts and stuff. Um, podcasts, I don't know why I have that there, I never use it. Um, there's tips. I saw tips. The, like I remember, I saw it on my phone once, and I'm like, I don't know what this is. Like, and one day I checked it out, and it was actually quite helpful. Like, it had like tips about like the phone and stuff. So I like to use that app sometimes. There's watch, and that app just helps me like set up, help me like set up my watch and stuff. Um, there's calculator. I love calculator and compass. Then there's activity, and activity just basically kind of keeps track of like fitness and um, steps and stuff. Home, I am not sure what that app does actually. I tried it and I don't know what it does. Oh, Qantas Entertainment. Well, every time I go traveling, I like to use this app just sometimes if I don't have a TV on like the airplane I'm on, I just use the Qantas Entertainment to watch some movies. 
and 7 News. Um, I sometimes like to read the news occasionally, it can be quite interesting. Um, ooh, TV. I don't really use this app that much, I kind of use Netflix more, but um, it just has like lots of TV shows and stuff on it, so I sometimes use it, but not really a lot. Ooh, the Melbourne pollen count. So I get really, really bad hay fever. My brother does too, actually. So we just can't sometimes like to check this app just to see what the pollen count is, the forecast and that. So today it's low, which is good. But since it's the start of spring, it's when kind of the pollen's all flying around and that. So I get really bad hay fever in spring. So that's why sometimes I need to check if it's high, then I can take maybe some medicine or something. Okay, weather zone plus. I usually like to use this weather app every time I go overseas or something just because it's a little bit more accurate rather than my weather AU because for well, AU. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is really good. Oh, Cancun. I miss Cancun. <laughs> okay, there's wallet, never use that. And reminders, like I said before, I never set reminders because I always just doesn't help me because I always forget it in the end anyway. <laughs> AFL Live, so that is Australian Football League, which is um, a sport that we have here in Australia. Yesterday was actually the grand final and my team Collingwood lost, so that is not good. But this app just kind of keeps track of like the scores and stuff. Um, and it's like you can watch it live, the game and that, so it's pretty cool. And then there's Maps, ooh, and Measure. So Measure is a new app that's actually come onto Apple now once I updated my phone. And it's actually really good, like I never use a ruler now. Um, so let's measure Luciana's habitat. So if I just put the little dot there and drag it up, I can measure it. 62 centimeters. Cool. So that's a very useful app and I really like that one. Okay, so that's all for my stuff folder. Now let's take a look at the social media folder. So as you can see, I have Snapchat there and I honestly only use Snapchat to like have like class chats with like my school and stuff. I don't really use Snapchat that much, honestly. We've got Instagram. Let's see, what's on my Instagram feed? Ooh. And then there's my profile. Grace's World has uploaded a new video. Hmm. Okay, so that's Instagram. Um, I've got TikTok, and TikTok is basically, I think it's like, it's, it was like the old Musical.ly or something. So um, I don't really use Musical.ly or this app that much anymore. I remember I used to always make Musical.ly, but I haven't really made that many because I'm just busy and I don't know, just can't be bothered. But um, I was looking at all my music clips the other day and I have a lot and they're honestly not that good so I don't know, I just don't make any more of them. And then there's YouTube, I'm sure we all know what YouTube is. Um, Bitmoji, Bitmoji is actually a really cool app so basically you design an avatar and I tried to make it look as best as I could as like me. I think it's pretty close. I like the outfit that she's wearing, actually. But um, it's really cool. I like to send some of these like to my to like my family and stuff. And yeah, it's a bit like emojis or something. But yeah. And then there's Pinterest. Pinterest. I've actually been using it quite a lot lately. Um, I, sometimes honestly, I like to search up memes and stuff on it. But I like to look up some like gives like inspiration for like maybe different dress designs and stuff. So. Yeah, it's cute. Um, ooh, Mug Life. Mug Life is such a cool app. So, I probably haven't used it that much lately, but it's really cool. So what you do is basically just choose a photo from your camera roll and you add one of these filters to it. And here, yeah, I'll show you an example. It's a bit hard to explain, but that's me. It's like a meme or something, I think. It's replaced, but it's cute. And there's like lots of different ones you can do anyway. So yeah, it's quite funny. And then there's YouTube Kids. Let's take a look at YouTube Kids. And if we go on to ooh, oh, shows, then there's my channel, Grace's World there. So YouTube Kids is just basically YouTube, but it's more for kids. And then there's, ooh, this app called Acapella, it's actually kind of cool so I tried using it a couple of times and it was really bad it sounded like cats dying or something but um what you do basically is you just film like look like different um, videos of yourself basically like, singing or something and then once you put it all together it creates like this really cool like acapella kind of like all song so yeah I like to use that sometimes for fun and then there's Netflix Netflix is the best 
um, Boomerang. Boomerang is actually a really cool app. I think it's from Instagram, but So that wasn't a very good one because I started talking, but um, basically it takes a lot of photos of you and then it's kind of rewinds like a little video. You might might have seen me use this sometimes on like my Instagram and stuff. So yeah, it's cool. And then there's the VidCon app. Um, we actually have VidCon here in Australia too, so I sometimes like to use the app just to see all like the different events that's on and like schedules and stuff. Um, oh, there's layout for Instagram too. I use this as well sometimes you might have noticed so let's just do some funny photos I took of bad makeup and as you can see there's like different like collages that it puts it into so you can choose them so that's cool there's IMDB um IMDB is actually really helpful if you just want to look up like movies or something or stuff about information about different actors and stuff you can look up upcoming movies and that so yeah it's cool and then there's OneNote so I like to use OneNote to write different scripts for my Grace's World videos and sometimes I can jot down ideas for like Grace's Room and Grace's World videos too so I really like to use this app so let's see cheering up Raquel so as you can see there's a full script there yeah okay so that's all in the social media folder okay so the next folder is games I used to have so many games and I still have quite a few actually but I tried to narrow, narrow it down a little bit and now I've got some of the games that I probably use more than the others and stuff. So yeah, there's quite a few games. Okay, this is Hold.io. This is currently my favorite game at the moment. It's so much fun to play. So what you do is you have like a special skin and basically you have to try and eat like most of the world, like destroy it and stuff. Like, oof. okay. But um, yeah, it's really fun and James and I usually verse each other in this game, so. I'm not going to take you through it all because we'll be here forever, but basically it's like a two minute kind of round. You just kind of try and eat as much as you can. So it's really fun. And then there's Helix Jump. I used to always play this game. I mean, probably not. I don't play it as much as much as I used to, but, um, oh, okay. I already died, <laughs> but it's really fun to play. Actually, it's quite basic, but it's really, really addictive. So my brother, James and I, we always, um, verse each other in this. Oh, I just said my brother James and I just realised <laughs> my dad and James and I we always like diverse each other in this game and I think I was winning there's Rolling Sky oh, I always used to play that one too Elf Yourself is actually such a funny app so basically you just get like lots of photos and stuff of like different faces and then you can um, yeah I'll go on to it and then you just like um, I think once you choose like five different faces like it puts them on the top of like an elf's face and then um it's like a really cool, like funny video. So I like to use it sometimes in Christmas. Okay, so it's, as you can see, there's like different faces I've done now. And just puts it onto a different video, but I'm maybe not gonna do one now because it might take a little while, but ooh. But yeah, you know, you get the idea. Okay, so some more games. Ooh, Bubble Witch 3. That's another game that my dad, James, and I, we'd always play together. And then I think like my dad and James are easily get like addicted to like these sorts of games and stuff, so. Yeah, it's fun. Um, let's see, okay. Ooh, Disneyland app. I love Disneyland. I'm not sure if some of you guys know, but as you can tell from my Mickey Mouse phone case and stuff. But um, I love Disneyland and this app just kind of takes you through like the Anaheim Disneyland, I think. Like you just go through it and you kind of just press on it. Ooh, you can play different games and stuff. And you can like take photos, like look at photos of it, like different parts of the, of the park and that. But yeah, it just kind of reminds me of Disneyland. I love it. <laughs> see, some more apps. Oh, Subway Surfers. Um, I remember once in a Q&A, I think I said that Subway Surfers was my favorite game. I probably don't play it as much now, but it is so much fun to play. Like, I used to always play it. Just reminds me of my childhood, that game. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, oh, Heads Up. Heads Up was a game that we'd usually play when we're at, especially at Disneyland or like at a theme park. We always had to wait in those long lines. My family, would, we'd always play this game just to help pass time. And yeah, it's really fun. And ooh, Fat Booth. Fat Booth is actually a, such a funny thing. I actually just did this one before when we... Oh. <laughs> okay, I just dropped my phone. <laughs> okay, back on track. So now, um, this is kind of like an app. You just take a photo of yourself. Here, I'll do another one. So... You can either choose a photo from your library or you can take a photo. So, 
use the photo and what you do is basically it goes like through something and it just makes you have an extra large double chin <laughs> it's really funny that does not look very pretty I like doing it on my family more than me probably <laughs> okay and then we got what's that okay it's garage band which is just basically a music kind of app and Nick's booth is pretty much the same it's just it's like I think from the same company or something but like what you do is it kind of mixes two faces together so if you have a photo of your friend and you kind of mix the two faces together it can look creepy sometimes but it's really funny okay so the next folder that I have is wheels so if you watched my slime wheel challenge that I did with James you would have seen I used this app actually to like help choose the ingredients I'd put in my slime and stuff so I think I still have that oh I'm not sure where it is but um, basically you just kind of spin this wheel and it chooses something and I and I sometimes like to use this actually in real life because I always can never make decisions and stuff so yeah it's a fun and then there's stories oh hooked is such a good app I always like sometimes use this app when I'm bored and stuff I love reading like scary stories like I love horror and that but um sometimes it's like it's like a chat or something and it's it's like kind of creepy some of them can be funny actually but um they're quite interesting to read actually yeah and then there's yarn and yarn is pretty much just the same as hooked it's just more chat stories oh audible I like to use audible sometimes and I have to read a book at school um yeah so I was reading trash reads recent recently so yeah um, and then there's the news app. Um, I don't really use that one that much, but yeah. And the last folder that I have is arts and crafts. So sometimes I like to use some of these apps to like color in or something just to kind of help relax and stuff. Recolor is a good app. Let's see. I'm not going to look onto the free. Um, okay. So you just like basically color in, color in different things. Like there's like, like lots of different pictures and stuff. So yeah, it can be really fun too. Let's see, here's some of my works. Um, it's a unicorn that I did actually. I really like this one. I think it's probably my best one that I did, but yeah, it's really pretty. So that's a fun app. And then there is Lake. Lake I think is just a drawing app, which is like this game, which is Brushes Redux. This is a painting that I did. Um, what you do, it kind of like records you like doing your painting step by step. And yeah, it's really fun actually. So this is a cherry blossom tree that I did. It's not one of my finest works of art, but um, it's not that bad. I was just doing it for fun. So yeah, it's quite nice too. There's Colorfy. Colorfy is a lot like Recolor, but the cool thing about it is that you can actually um, draw mandalas with it. And it's just really relaxing and it's really pretty actually and fun. So I like to do this as well. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, and then there's Perfect 365. This game is actually really good, so if, for example, you just maybe if you want to edit a, a photo or something, maybe make, get rid of some blemishes or something like that, you can um, actually do a live makeup. So, see, so put all this makeup on me and I didn't have any of it on, so, ooh, my cheeks look quite red. Let's see, I can like, oh, okay, those cheeks are a little bit too red, but you get the idea, just puts like makeup on you and stuff and gets rid of like blemishes and that so it's kind of fun yeah and then we have the last apps here just messages phone safari and music and those are pretty much all the apps that apps that i have on my phone i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and now you know what's on my iphone so i'll see you next time on grace's room bye for now